My name's Josh, something about me. I am a veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom. True fact about me, it's tough being a fat veteran because no one believes me. Like everybody in here is about, I don't know, is there a joke to, I don't know if I should do that. I, I, oh, no, we're good. That's, that's what, <laughs> it is, man. It's my own fault. God, I love to eat. I love the Waffle House. So, uh, you don't have those around here. People are like, what's a Waffle House? And I have to tell you, it's kind of like a bathroom you eat pancakes in. <laughs> <laughs> trying to lose weight, been doing CrossFit. CrossFit, that's where rich people throw farm equipment. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I know it's time to start losing weight because like it sneaks up on you, right? Hit 30, my body gave out on me. All right, for, for instance, like I don't feel fat, right? Until I'm laying down sideways. <laughs> Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Gravity takes over. <laughs> I'm just saying, I look like a melting marshmallow, is what I'm saying, that's why I'm... But it works out, because when I'm hitting on girls, I'm like, hey, you want some more? <laughs> and they don't, so I have to... I, I... It's a lot of fun. I knew, I, start, I knew I had to start losing weight. I was at a coffee shop, there's these two little old Asian ladies in front of me, and I was goofing off, making them laugh, right? And the oldest one, she did the sweetest thing that's ever happened to me. She was like, two foot three. <laughs> she reached up, she pinched my face, and she goes, you have such a handsome face. I was like, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> but then she poked me, she said, but the rest of you needs to run. <laughs> I'm a churchy guy, churchy people. Woo! All right, nobody? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Found the Baptist? Uh... No, man, I'm, I'm a single guy. I'm single in church. It's tough being single in church because they expect me to do everything. Every, every Sunday, my pastor's like, hey, uh, we're retarring the roof at 4 a.m. See you there. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> My phone's gonna be off. <laughs> Dude, man, I, I like going to church. I got baptized in the church, Pentecostal. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I did, man, it's in Florida. I'm pretty sure they put ice in the bucket when they did it, because I went in there, I came up with hypothermia. I came out and I was like, <laughs> and then he's got the Holy Spirit, Jesus, Jesus. Oh. It's tough dating in the church, isn't it? Oh my, here's the problem. Like, because when, when you have a good conversation with somebody, it's always awkward. I'm an awkward guy. No, like, just normal people conversations, group conversations, awkward. Like, I was doing a church show in Tulsa, Oklahoma, right? And as I was leaving the stage, I said this. Said, all right, y'all, see you in heaven. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like the nicest way of murdering everyone? <laughs> Right? Just passing out. All right, here's your cool. They'd see you there. You know, like that's not. <laughs> so I'm at church. I'm having a great conversation with this lady, right? We, we, we connected. We were talking about stuff. We had a lot of stuff in common. She starts talking about hobbies. She goes, What do you do? I said, Well, I'm a stand up comic. Sometimes people laugh. And I said, well, what do you do in your spare time? And she said she likes to square dance. And I was like, well, we both make bad decisions. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. So we're sitting there talking, and this old lady at my church, she comes, comes right in, butts right in the conversation. She goes, what's your favorite Bible verse? And I had to tell her, right? Because she has no time left. And... <laughs> So her mind is Psalm 82, verses 3 and 4, right? Which is, defend the weak and the fatherless, uphold the rights of the poor and destitute, rescue the weak and the needy, deliver them from the hands of the wicked. Which, right, even if you're not Christian, get kids out of slavery, stand for the oppressed, we can all get behind that, right? Right? 
she's walking away. And I was like, ma'am, what's your favorite Bible verse? She looks back and she goes, Psalm 137, verse 9. If you're not familiar, I wasn't, I looked it up. Psalm 137, verse 9 says, Blessed is he who takes your children and bashes them against the rock. <laughs> I looked at this lady and I was like, oh no, we got to get her out of that nursery. Uh, <laughs> some of you guys don't like that. That's fine. That's all right. That's how I felt. Cause you know how, because you're like, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on the ring. You know, fool me three times. We're running out of children. So, you know, it's just. <laughs> Hey, did you know Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it now and watch my whole special.